Hello everyone, it's Lindsay and I'm back with another Traveler's Notebook process video for you guys for the wild hair kits. And I have a few photos taken from when my sister and I took my boys to uh, Great America. And so I wanted to document these and I wanted to use the September cut file from the wild hair kits. So if you order the deluxe kit, then you get this sent to you already cut out in 12 by 12 and you also get access to the cut files. If you order the petite kits then you just get access to the cut files that you can cut yourself so I have a video that went up today as well kind of showing how I cut these and how I um, get these from the website and manipulate them and all that goodness so that video will be linked down below for you guys so you can see how I got to this point but you can see I actually sized this cut file to be eight inches by eight inches so it'll fit and cover the entire uh, spread of my layout. I will have to cut this down the center. I may only use a portion of it on one side. I haven't decided yet. We'll see, but it is made to fit um, all the way across my spread. And so I actually went ahead and cut out all of the filler pieces. I'm going to back this with some pattern papers. So I have some of the pattern papers from this month's kit and some of the pattern papers from my August kit, and I sent it through my Silhouette Cameo cutting machine. And so again, if you want to see that video, how I put this together to get to this point, I will have that link down below. Um, but you can see I was able to cut out all these different pieces all in one go. I did have a little bit of an oops because my mat isn't super sticky and so some of these kind of wiggled and moved and didn't work out but I did cut some extras so hopefully it'll be okay. Looks like I'll only be one shy of the darker blue but um, these are should be sized so that they can fit behind my cut file just like that and so I can fill this in. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, using a glue pen, I'm gonna go ahead and adhere these down to the backside of this cut file and then I'll be right back and show you what that looks like when it's all finished. Okay, so you can see now it's all finished and glued together. It looks kind of crazy on the back, but I just used a Zig 2A glue pen to quickly add some adhesive and put those pieces down. And I love, love, love how this came out. So I am gonna go ahead and cut this down. Now I cut this cut file at eight inches by eight inches, but I need to cut it in half so that it will uh, fit nicely in my traveler's notebook. I found that if I adhere things all the way across the full spread, then I have some issues when I'm folding or closing my booklet. So I did go ahead and cut that in half. And I'm also gonna go ahead and take my We Are Memory Keepers corner rounder, corner chomper, and round the corners of the cut file just so that it goes along with the rounded corners in my traveler's notebook. And so you can see it, it didn't leave quite an, as much of a gap in the center there as I normally do, but it looks like it's gonna be fine as long as I adhere it down really well. So I do go ahead and cover the back side of this cut file really well with um, a dry adhesive roller and then in the more delicate areas I go in with that zig two-way glue pen and I just want to make sure that this is adhered really well so that it doesn't snag on anything when I'm opening and closing my traveler's notebook. So now it's all glued down. I love, it almost has this like patchwork quilt feel, feel to it. I don't know. And I've already seen some sneak peeks of the other gals on the creative team and how they've used this cut file. And it's so amazing how different this cut file looks depending on um, the papers that you use and how you back the cut file. It's kind of, it's kind of neat to see. So definitely check out the other ladies on the blog and on the Wild Hair Kits Instagram to see how they're using um, the cut file this month. So now I'm going to go ahead and take these three photos. I pulled out some of the papers. Again, I think these are all from this month, my September kit. And I'm going to back these photos with these papers just to kind of help them stand out from now what is a busy background. So I've got that yellow. I've got this teal and that kind of fuchsia color and actually that yellow is from last month's kit now that I think about it and if you're curious what papers I got in the kit this month and last month I do have those unboxing videos I will link them down below and you can take a look and see everything that came in my uh, wild hair kits this month 
So I'm just leaving myself a little bit of a border and this really kind of helps those photos stand out. I did go ahead and print all those photos in black and white just because I knew there was going to be a lot of pattern and a lot of color going on this spread already. And so by doing black and white photos, I don't have to worry about the uh, colors in the photo conflicting with the colors I have going on in my spread. And so it gives me a little bit more wiggle room when it comes to picking colors and patterns and things for my spread. Now I'm going to adhere these down with a liquid, liquid adhesive because I'm adhering them over the top of that cut file. And so just to make sure that it's adhered really well, I'm using my Tombow Mono uh, multi-liquid glue and then just using a uh, acrylic block to hold that down. Now my title is going to go on the other page and it also needs something to kind of pop it off of that background. And so I have a doily from my stash and one of my favorite things to do is to use white doilies and ink them in colors that match my projects. Rather than having, you know, 50 different colored uh, doilies, I can just have white and then color them. So I pulled out um, some seedless preserves and picked raspberry and distress oxide inks and I'm inking this up now because it's a doily and it's really delicate I'm kind of more stamping the ink on rather than rubbing or blending the ink on that way I don't tear that like delicate edge that's on it so I'm going in with the picked raspberry first and then add a little bit of the seedless preserves and that's how I get that really pretty kind of fuchsia magenta color that is from that uh, Heidi Swap paper that I used uh, on the spread here. So you can see I'm just going to go back and forth. The Distress Oxide inks are so much easier to blend together than regular Distress inks, especially when you're stamping them like this. Um, they just have uh, some more forgiveness to them and they just blend a lot easier and the colors layer better. So when I'm doing things like this, it's much easier to use the uh, Distress Oxide inks. So I went ahead and hit that with my heat tool, made sure it was good and dry. And then to adhere this down, I'm just applying adhesive to the center. That way I don't have to worry about fussing with adhesive poking through the holes in the doily. And then that oh so much fun tag is from one of the cut apart sheets that I got in my kit this month. And I've also pulled out these cardstock stickers from the Freckled Fawn. And I'm going to use that bright yellow uh, arrow that's on that and you can just see how well even the colors from those stickers really match the colors in the papers so there's a look at that cut apart sheet I believe that's I believe it's Maggie Holmes I don't remember you'll have to check my unboxing video um, but it has all these fun like tags and banners and things on it and I just fussy cut one of those out to be my title which is oh so much fun and like I said I'm documenting our trip to great america and we had a blast my sister so we did two days the first day i did that water park um i will link that process video down below i documented that photo i did that by myself with my kids and then when we did the roller coaster portion i roped my sister into helping um that way we could kind of tag team together and if one boy didn't want to go on the rides then i had her to help out so we had plenty of photos from that day we had such a good time it was super hot we got soaking wet on one of the rides but we survived and it was a really really good day so uh, I did go ahead and do my journaling on my computer like I've been doing and then just cut it out of cardstock and then I'm using my zig 2a glue pen and some eyelash tweezers to adhere those uh, journaling strips down and this has really become my favorite way to add journaling uh, I just sit down and kind of batch edit my photos and then create a whole bunch of journaling all at one time that way I'm not wasting cardstock to finish off the spread, I pulled out some black uh, Nouveau crystal drops and I'm sticking these down. Uh, right after I turned off the camera, I ended up sticking my hand in these bottom ones down here and smearing it. So don't do what I did. Be really careful. And I don't know that I will continue to use these in my traveler's notebook. I found I live in a very, very dry, hot climate. However, even setting this out for two days to dry, when I close my traveler's notebook, they're still kind of tacky and they kind of squish down. So I don't know that I'll use them in my traveler's notebook um, from here on out. If you guys have tips on that, let me know down below. Um, but that is it for the spread today. So if you have any questions or comments, be sure to leave those down below. Check out the corresponding blog post over at the Wild Hair Kits. And be sure to check out the Wild Hair Kits. I will have them linked down below for you guys. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And until next time, thank you so much. Bye-bye.